Welcome again everybody to a new uh, video uh, in which we are going to discuss the some of the uh, restorative materials uh, and their radiographic appearance uh, and uh, starting with this very epic radiograph we can see in tho on those two uh, of the central and lateral incisors you can see that the two central incisors are root canal filled while the uh, laterals are not filled the interesting thing is that if you concentrate on the crowns over here you will see that the margin uh, of the uh, of the tooth this is the tooth by the way and this is the margin of the preparation on the uh, other uh, central you can see this is the preparation over here and this is the prepared crown and this is the margin the same goes for the lateral incisor this is the crown uh, and this is the restoration the only the only uh, restoration or that you can see the crown radiographically uh, not clinically uh, is the ceric crowns uh, these are catcam concentrated uh, crowns okay and they uh, uh, th these are the only crowns that allows you to see uh, or allows you to uh, view the crown from underneath because of their reduced radio opacity all other crowns all other crowns vary in their radio opacity but none of them allow you to see the crown underneath only the ceric crowns uh, which are made uh, uh, on the uh, chair side by CAD CAM technology and this this is their typical appearance as you can see it over here if you compare this, peri uh, this bite wing radiograph to the previous one you see that the crowns over here the restoration of all the upper and lower premolars and molars completely block the x-ray and you can see nothing underneath the crown the only thing that the radiograph will allow you to see is the margins underneath the crown and on the proximal surfaces as you can see over here you can see the margin due to the difference in the radio uh, and the opacity between the crown uh, the restoration and the root uh, or, uh, of the tooth and you can see if there is any defect otherwise the uh, those crowns these are metal crowns by the way and these are this is the typical appearance of gold crowns gold crowns they absorb all x-ray uh, uh, making the crown underneath completely uh, 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 disappear but the only thing you can see through or you can uh, you can uh, see is the margins underneath the crown uh, which is the typical site of the uh, 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 defect and uh, later on the decay in the in the tooth. In other words, if anything, uh, if any pathology occurs within the crown, the, uh, the 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 meta restoration, the gold or meta restoration restoration completely uh, blocks the image. So these are all gold crowns used to cover these premolars and molars. If you compare it back to this image, you can see that the ceric, the cat cam constructed uh, uh, crowns are, uh, allow uh, some x-ray to pass and thus they uh, give a chance for the crown to be seen underneath. Compare between the ceramic over here and the composite which is used to restore the, uh, uh, the, uh, the tooth. So again, its composite actually blocks X-ray, so you cannot see underneath. Compare it to the <coughs> sorry, ceramic underneath, or the co coverage uh, of the crown, uh, uh, which allows the X-ray to pass. Even get a perca and uh, 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 blocks X-ray. Compare this is a crown and uh, the crown of the tooth, and this is the composite and get a perca. All of these co uh, cover or block the passage of x-ray and this is the only crown that as I said that allows the passage of x-ray and thus you can view the crown under 
having a look at this uh, 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 by radiograph we can see a number of uh, restorative materials that uh, were used to restore the teeth starting with the upper four you, this is the Emax crown uh, or only uh, that is used to restore uh, uh, the upper four compare it to the PFM which is just next to it this is the metal and this is the porcelain which is covering it so uh, the difference is quite clear between the uh, two materials which were used in here the porcelain and the Emax depends on the concentration and the components of the material which which was used another PFM used to is used here to restore the upper six the root canal filled tooth this one is root canal filled by the way this one is not again this is the uh, porcelain uh, the metal core and this is the porcelain coverage compare it to the amalgam restoration which is used to uh, 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 cusp uh, build this uh, upper seven you can see that there is an occlusal and a, a mesial cavity and the rest of the amalgam has been used to uh, 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 build the cusp of this uh, of this root canal uh, root canal filled upper seven if we go down to the lower seven we will see that there is an amalgam filling this is the occlusal part and this is the distal part and this is apparently a buccal pit buccal pits uh, uh, are usually filled with amalgam uh, uh, or composite and this tooth is filled with amalgam of course the width uh, or the dimensions of the of the buccal pit vary according to the uh, original decay the only thing we cannot see here is how deep or how far or close the uh, uh, the, uh, the amalgam filling from the pulp because this is a 2D image and we cannot tell whether this is close to the pulp or far away from the pulp however it completely covers the pulp horn here not because it is inside the pulp horn but because it is superimposed on the pulp horn another only uh, uh, which is used a uh, ceramic only which is used to uh, uh, restore this tooth as you can see it here uh, over here uh, compare the ceramic to the composite which is used to uh, in this DO filling uh, in the uh, in the lower four, so we can see here Emax, PFM, PFM, amalgam, amalgam, uh, only ceramic only, and the composite filling. So you can see a, 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 a quite a different uh, uh, a, a, a combination of uh, filling materials or restorative materials that are used to restore these teeth. Having a look at uh, this radiograph, this periapical radiograph, the metal crowns, this, these are completely metal crowns, which are used to restore the, the premolar and the molar. Apparently there seems to be a, a congenital problem, amylogenesis imperfecta, and these teeth, so an, uh, and these teeth, so in an attempt to prevent the destruction of the crown, those two teeth were covered with the uh, metal crowns. The metal crowns, as you can see here, have completely, uh, because they are absorbed, they allow no x-ray to pass, so they have completely blocked the x-ray from passing, thus the crown underneath is completely masked by the, by the crown. You cannot see, you cannot know the, the, the condition of the, uh, of the crown underneath from the radiograph unless the crown is removed. However, the, uh, the crowns, the the only part which uh, can be seen in the radiograph and a, 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 that tells if there is any decay or improper margin or defect in the uh, in the crown is uh, at the margins, the proximal margins, uh, the uh, buccal and ligual margins are not as apparent as the proximal margins. Uh, those are more readily seen if there is any problem that is seen in either the distal or the uh, mesial uh, marches. So those two crowns are metal crowns which are used on those uh, teeth. In orthodontics, uh, you uh, 
always see, especially in the fixed type of orthodontics, uh, you uh, uh, always see uh, uh, this appearance, the uh, brackets, stainless steel brackets. Of course, if they are uh, metallic, the, uh, uh, they would completely again absorb X-ray and thus they would appear on the radiograph you will see the uh, stainless steel wire which is used in the treatment and if uh, there is a loop uh, or a band uh, if there is a band uh, usually for the retainer tooth then you can see it over here so um, these are more common to be seen as you can see it also on this bite wing radiograph this tooth is composite uh, filled treated with composite 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 and this is the band uh, plus the uh, brackets that are used to uh, 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 in this treatment and this is the uh, uh, active stainless steel wire these bands of course are uh, fixed by composite however the the amount of composite which is used here is uh, 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 is not bulky enough to be detected one Two, it is placed underneath the um, uh, the uh, bracket. So the bracket actually, because it is metal, it will block or it will mask the radio opaque radio opacity of the composite filling.